Hello friends, welcome to my design pattern tutorial series. Today, let's discuss what is singleton design pattern in Java. So friends, let's implement singleton design pattern in Java. First of all, what is singleton design pattern? So as per definition, in order to make a class singleton, we have to follow two rules. Rule 1, that it should have only single instance second that this instance should be available through a global access so friends by rule 1 we mean that the class should have only single instance means if a client can create multiple instances of a class then it's not a singleton class and by the rule second we mean that there should be something in the class say a method so that we can get access to this instance the singleton instance so let's implement this design pattern in java so basically there are few steps which we have to follow in order to implement this pattern let's go through each step one by one suppose we have to make class circle as singleton steps to make a class singleton step one So first we will create a class which we want to make singleton. So here circle is already, we have already created circle. So step 1 is already been done. Let's move on to step 2. Step 2. So step 2 says that we have to create a private default constructor of the class. So here below we will create a private default constructor. So here we have created a private constructor which is default. Now let's move to step 3. Step 3. Now step 3 says that create a private static. So the step 3 says that we have to create a private static variable of the class which we want to make singleton and this variable should be private and static and it should refer to, to the instance of class created in step 1. So what it is actually saying that we have to create a private static type of class circle. So here we have to create a a variable which is static and the object of circle is assigned to it. Now let's move ahead with step 4. Now in step 4 we have to create a accessor method which could always return us back with a instance of class created in step 3. So let's create that method public static it should be static so here we have created a method which is static by the name get instance so whenever we call this method it will always return us back the circle instance and let's move on to step 5 step 5 says that there, that there should not be any method or constructor which can create instance of this class. Now let's see what we did these all five steps. We first we made the we created a class, say public class circle, and now we want to make this class a singleton. We made the constructor, the default constructor is private so that any other class cannot cannot call the constructor of this class by the new operator third in order to get a single object because as we have made the constructor private we cannot now cannot get the object of that class but but in order to get the object we can call the new circle so in order to create a, a single circle we'll create 
static variable of the of the class itself and we will call the circle circle default constructor because this default constructor can be accessible within the class so in the class itself and we will assign it back to the circle instance and now in step 4 we will create a method which will be static and whenever this method will be called we will get back the cir circle object which we created on the step 3 and step 5 says that if there are any other methods suppose we have any other method say public so suppose there are any other method like public circle get circle which returns back the new circle so what it will break the singleton design pattern principles and whenever we will call get circle we will always get a new circle because we can access the private constructor from the class itself so we should avoid any other method or constructor which can create the instance of this class so now let's create a demo class for this singleton design pattern so suppose we have created a singleton pattern test class here and so here in this class if we create circle circle equals new circle so what the compiler will throw a compilation error saying that that constructor circle is not visible since we have made the constructor is private any other class outside the world cannot create the object of class circle so in order to get the that single instance because we have to make class single done and in order to get that instance what we will do we will do circle circle equals we will call the get instance method because this method will return us back the instance created and as this circle is and as this method is static we can access it through the class name and here if we go back here this method will always return as the circle instance which we created here so whenever so whenever this method is called say if we call it say if we call it n number of times we will always get back the same instance which which we created when the class got loaded in the when the class got loaded in the through the class loader so so friend this was the demo for the singleton design pattern so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye